Uh, today we have a new video that talks about uh, system design and today we talk about um, system design fundamentals. Uh, today we talk about database and a database is an organized collection of data typically stored and accessed e electronically from a computer system um, and the database basically are essential for um, storing, managing and retrieving data efficiently and securely. Let's talk about how, when we need a database and what are the examples of them. So let's say that we have this simple system. We have a client and this client is trying to connect with the server with a DNS. Basically, a DNS is short for a domain name system. And you send the IP, uh, you send physically the, the domain name to, um, wait a minute, I guess I messed it up. Um, you, you send the, 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 the domain name to the DNS and the DNS will send you back the IP address. Um, let's make this. I guess we have to make it oh yeah this way okay this isn't the, is the right way and when the once the IP address is obtained for the client the client will try to send an HTTP request to the server and the server will send back a request for example maybe a user data HTML pages whatever it will be in this system everything looks good but let's say that in the server in our server right now is handling two things it's handling the data and it's handling the traffic as well. And let's say that our system is getting quite popular. It, it gets a lot of users. And uh, we save all the, uh, all the users on the server and also our server um, try to serve all the client's requests. So it would be a good idea to make our server only handles the traffic that comes from the clients and we put the data in the database or in a data tier. So how this will look like, let me just delete everything that I did here to make it quite clean. So the server here will be connected with a database and this data and and this database will store in it the data. Basically, um, the key concept or or uh, of the database first we store the data. So databases store data in a structured format, allowing for efficient data management and retrieval. Also, databases provide uh, mechanisms to manipulate data, such as inserting, updating, deleting, and querying data. And databases allow users to retrieve data using queries often through a query language like SQL. And, um, and yeah, so on and so forth. It has, it has a security, it has integrity, and, and etc. And uh, for this one, I, I want to make this video quite light. And um, when you use a database in a system design interview, you will have mainly in your interview trying to, to, uh, to choose between two things. Uh, it's to use um, 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 a SQL database or a NoSQL database, and I would say by default uh, it's a good um, it's a it's a good approach to go with the SQL database, not, not the NoSQL database. And um, you only go with the NoSQL database, in my opinion, when there are three conditions. First, when you have a huge number of data. Uh, let's say that we have a lot of data, for example, if we are having like a chat system, so we have tons of messages. So in this one, we need a NoSQL database. Uh, let's say that if you need, um, if you need um, uh, your data to be um, available, so your data um, needs to be available and um, you, uh, you can use the NoSQL database. Um, your application, for example, is requiring, for example, a uh, super low uh, latency. Uh, let's make it latency. In this one, you would use, um, yeah, in this one, you would use a, a, a NoSQL database. Um, let's say that also you need a massive, you, you, we said that you, you need a massive amount of data, you only need, um, yeah, if you don't know or if you're not sure of um, of the structure of your data or of your data is uh, unstructured, uh, uh, st uh, for example, uh, you can use NoSQL database. Other than that, you will use um, structured, unstructured. Uh, I'm still working on 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 my typing uh, style on on this one. So yeah. So if you have a server, if you have a database right now in our system currently, we can have a server that is responsible for the trafficking and we have a database to store the DB in it. 
And we said that we have two types of the database. We have a NoSQL, which is designed for specific data models with flexible schema, uh, suitable for handling large volumes of unstructured or semi-structured data. And, um, and we have uh, the SQL database, which is structured uh, data into tables and rows. Um, uh, use SQL, which is a structured query language for data manipulation. An example of that, we have uh, MySQL, Postgres, and Microsoft SQL Server. Server, yeah. And uh, in the in the NoSQL, we have MongoDB, we have Redis, we have Cassandra, we have Graph, and etc. Um, we have also um, let's talk about why we need database. What like why we use a database first? We said that we need to separate the the the, the load. Uh, of the data. Also, the data is great in the efficient data management, like database provider structured uh, storage allowing for efficient data retriever manipulation and, man and management. Uh, we have data integrity and consistency, so ensuring that data is uh, accurate and uh, consistent through co um, constraints and transactions. We have scalability databases uh, can handle growing amounts of data and user load by uh, scaling vertically, like adding more resources to a single machine or horizontally by adding more machines. Um, we have data security, like implement uh, secure, uh, secure measures like authentication, authorization, and encryption to protect data. Um, also, database provide uh, uh, backup and recovery. So databases provide mechanisms for data for data backup and recovery to prevent data loss. Also, we have concurrency control allow multiple users to uh, access and modify data simultaneously. Um, I would say uh, also we have a performance optimization like using indexing, caching, and query optimization techniques to enhance data retrieval and um, um, so on and so forth. So. Um, in 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 this one in this video, I just want to make it quite light and quite easy. So we have a data. We have a, a small system, and the system we had a server, and in the server we need to use uh, the server was handling data and 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 load. So um, in this one we needed to use a database, and and we said that uh, the database is an organized collection of data typically stored and accessed electronically from computer system and databases are essential for uh, storing, managing and retrieving data efficiently and securely. And we talk about the types of the NoSQL or S and SQL and SQL. Uh, so basically the, the two types of databases. And we said that when we use a NoSQL, the NoSQL we can use it when we have unstructured data. If we have a huge amount of, of, of data, also, if we have, if we require the super low latency, and also we talked about if we, um, if, 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 if we need to, um, our system to be available, uh, we use um, the NoSQL database or high, our system have should have high availability. Um, the NoSQL database will be all the other uh, conditions. By default, we said that by default we go with SQL. And we said uh, also we did talk about uh, what are the why do we need the database? So we said that it is good for efficiency, data integrity, scalability, data security, backup and recovery, and so on and so forth. And uh, for this one, I guess it's a good um, it's a good idea to to end the video here. Um, um, maybe in the next coming video we will try to talk about um, the um, how to. Um, uh, how to scale the server till here, how to scale this one. We will talk about the load balancer, what is important, what is actually the load balancer and why we do we need it and how it works and what all the algorithms are used in the load balancer. And after that, we, we, we will talk about how to uh, 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 scale the database. And yeah, that's it for this video and see you in the future.